Hi guys, it's Nene from I'm Just Crafty. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to use our senior magazine template. So first you wanna make sure that you click on the link and once you download the template, it's gonna bring you up to this screen and you simply want to click use template. If you do not already have a Canva account, make sure that you click on the link in your download to set up your Canva account uh, first. In, in this video, I'm actually going to be demoing using the free version so that you can see all the different options that are available to you at no charge. So now that we have the template brought up, I want to go ahead and upload our photo that we're going to be working with. So I simply click on Uploads, come over here to Upload Media, and now I'm going to just identify the folder that has the pictures in it that I want to use. And I've selected three different photos, and I'm going to decide which one is going to work best for this layout. Now in these photos, I made sure to choose ones that left some space to the side so that I can kind of maneuver and manipulate um, things over so it doesn't detract too much from the actual photo. So for example, if we take a look at this one and we bring it on over um, to start, and I, all I did was click on the picture and then I'm just going to hover it over the box until it grabs into the background and now we are able to if we want we can double click on the image and move it around to fit on the canvas the best way that we want it and i actually kind of like that because now you can see some of her face um, and then we can still um, take a look at the different elements in this document so now what i want to do is just go ahead and edit some of the colors of the text that's already on here. So right now when I click on the word senior and I come up here to change the color, the main color is black and then there's also a filter on here um, that has a gray background. So I actually want the senior to be um, sort of like a yellowish color to complement her outfit here. And then I'm simply going to come over to effects and as you can see in the effects Right here, this gray color is selected and I'm gonna click on that and I'm actually gonna change it to complement the blue that is in her cap. I can continue to do this to change um, all the other elements of this um, document. You can change the text for the words accomplishment, graduate. Here, this one where it says any high school, it's kind of difficult to see. So maybe I would want to turn that to white or even give it like a drop shadow behind it so that it pops a little bit, as you can see now that it pops. In this particular circle, um, I would want to maybe put the mascot of the school. Um, maybe I could even adjust the text a little bit so that it fits more seamlessly in the picture. I could even resize the last, the first and last name so that it's not directly over her face. Um, if this is too big for me, I can just kind of resize it and move things around. I could also change the color of that first if I wanted it to be yellow to go here and then if I wanted the text to be white. So that you have a lot of freedom to uh, make changes. You could also change the fonts if these aren't fonts that you may um, necessarily want to have in your document. And under here, under accomplishments, just simply come over to the text and click body text. And here you can add um, other additional information. Or if you don't want accomplishments, you can simply delete it altogether. So you can get really creative with, even though you have a basic template, with how you want it to look. If I want to change the background, click on the background, and I want that background to be yellow as well. Um, the sky is the limit. So I hope you enjoy playing around with the template. If you have any questions, as always, be sure to send us an email at admin at imjustcrafty.com and we'll be right there to help you with your decor needs. Bye for now.